Dr. Familia, who was just on mm -hmm. the first fight before. So it's clear that he has got a lot of talent under his belt, but he's going to have to put that up against a frequent fighter in Frosty. So let's get this started here. First set, first round, and now Frosty's going to win the neutral engagement here. He will get the pressure going immediately and goes for that cross-up. That's aggression, but fails the rejump. Yeah, oh, got the 2S into the SD. It was not afraid of Kefla. Kefla got hit, but right now, Frieza's Fountain hits that Gogeta. And finally, Kefla gets another corner combo. And we've seen this Oki a lot of times uh, during last set. Let's see what's gonna happen now. Frosty has a good blocks, but the low finally catches him. And that is a one-touch situation. Maybe he will go for a level three to get the optimal damage. Maybe forcing a raw tag out of J. Uh, I mean, out of Frosty. It's in the corner though, so the level three Oki 421 is not that optimal, but maybe with a super jump he did it, but did not go for it and back to neutral. I was gonna say, 21 just kind of stared at Frosty there, maybe feeling a bit of lethargy after all those sweets, but then the reaction time's on point with that 2H and Gogeta is gonna be out of the competition before he can barely get anything done. That was a clinical punish for the first round from Jaden N there. And what he has got from that is he's got 21 steals, he's got Gogeta out of there with that amazing assist. Now Frosty already in such a dangerous situation, and as a result, he makes some dangerous choices, and a 5L ash mash excuse me, works perfectly for him. He can get his own 21 set up here if he wants. Oh, but the hit's on the K. Yeah, I wanted to do a little bit too long of a combo. That's multi-hits on uh, Gogeta's uh, JM, of course, uh, meaning that... I mean, Fujita, sorry. Fujita has some multi-hit attacks, and that means, like, the hit stun scaling goes up a bit, but right now, Jaden losing Kefla anyway, after Frosty dropped the combo before, and now it's all tied up. Still, the spark on Jaden's side with two bars on deck. Actually got hit with uh, Freeze's Fountain again, but right now... Oh, the tail, let's go, with no conversion off of it. Jaden keeps getting a few stray oh. hits with the uh, the tail, but just can't get anything off of it. Again, stray hits uh, that don't get confirmed. You're never going to get to see the combo from them. Frosty, on the other hand, gets one hit in and immediately fires back. Doesn't go for the level 3 Oki just yet, but can keep the pressure up. Plus frames here. Jaden mm. tries to get out and react a little bit too early. Man gets caught jumping off the ground, and now Frosty. Pressure continues as we get very close to the corner here. Yeah, now, oh, the 5M was very time well because I think Frosty was trying to go for a backdash after that uh, dive, but got caught by the tail. Now you're bleeding. Level 3 from Frieza. Oh, you went for a double red. I don't think so. Catch this. That was oh. definitely brave, but catching Again, that a reflex. Though. Again, a drop. He reflects so far. Oh, but you got hit just now. I think Frosty was. Uh, thinking, oh, this must be a cross-up because Frieza normally does that when you close up, but no. Frieza only travels a set point. And in that case, it was not a cross-up. Ooh, tried to reflect a little bit too early, guessing that the destructive disc were coming back a little bit earlier. I think Jaden, when he gets a hit now, he's gonna look to uh, go golden. <laughs> oh, that was sick. The no golden? That was like... Uh, Kefla doing the beam against UI Goku and uh, Freezer decides, nah, you know what? I don't feel like being meta today. Jumps over, gets the whip <laughs> punish, and as a result, that level 3 is going to seal the deal and take the first point for Jaden. And I have to say, I, I saw him. It was very, very um, little moments that I kind of was attracted to. Jaden likes to whip punish, or at least try it. He uh, mm -hmm. landed dashed back immediately against Vegito and then went into 5M with 21 because he's fishing for those wave punishes and he didn't get them all the time but he's got opportunities to go for those unconventional punishes that could get a kill really yeah and you know there were many people who were saying that Frosty would uh, win that set yeah I think Jaden almost had no votes or something so whoever voted on Jaden is swimming in esports money right now all right, let's see what it's gonna do. Oh, we tried to punish that again. You were talking about it earlier, the whiff punish. Uh, went for a jump heavy with that Gogeta. And then tried to go for an air to air, but it was a little bit too late. That raw tag catching him instead. Oh, SD against SD. Just like that, you get hit. Three Oki there as Kepler continues to pressure in the corner. Oh, 21 comes in from behind. Here's a party pooper. I'm here to uh, ruin your party as well with that vanish. 
and Vegito gets forced to the corner as a result. Thank you very much. Level 3 Oki from Kepler here. Oh dear. <laughs> Frosty is in a very bad situation here. I, I would say this is definitely a you either guess or pop spark situation. Kepler's level 3 Oki, not the best, but continues the pressure overhead into the. Ooh, good defense from Frosty. Oh, he's said uh, she comes from behind for you. <laughs> <laughs> That's layers, man. Sir, come on, man. You can't do that to me. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm channeling my inner C4. I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, you, you definitely did. All right, level one and two, two more, but it's not going to kill. Maybe I might be channeling my inner dunk as well. <laughs> Damn, we, we are C4 and dunk right now. I love it. Oh, Mr. Flamey, all codes used already. Damn, press one. I've used a Matrimino code ever since I asked you to do that because that was quick. Well done, chat. Ooh, extending. Get him. VR. Yeah, just go for the safe knockdown. Hello situation. Ooh, I like that little jump. The neutral jump, but did not work out for him. Oh, he got hit by his own stuff. We saw that in the anime. We see it here, and this might be setting up to kill you because, you know, against Blue, Gogeta, it's always a two touch situation. Very true. The amount of damage that team in general can just output is so fearful. Again, there you see Jalen goes for a bit of a backdash, tries to catch him with the 5M. He loves those medium buttons because he's just fishing for those hits. But he catches Vegito on the hook with that Dragon Rush. No tech there. Will send him down. Has got three bars, so he can't kill just yet. Gonna instead go for the Android level. Uh, three Yoki, yes, okay. Has got the steals, but the question is, how does Frosty respond? Goes with the spark this time, he just does not want to hold that. There's too much risk involved. And now, Nick, crucial point here. Look how much bar he's going to build. That's an easy seven bar. Easy, you know what that means? That means this is potentially dead. Ooh, he did swap out Vegito very early, though. Oh, there it is, level five. Yeah. I was a little bit afraid that uh, Vegito, because he was swapped out very early, that he could not use his level one. But he could, meaning that this is a guaranteed kill. Oh, I like this animation so much. It is definitely one of the best that Dragon Ball offers. But no, this is the thing about Vegito's spark combos. Because he builds so much bar, if you have Gogeta in the back, if you weren't sure about your combo killing, chances are you've built enough to get the level 5, and then you can just have that safety net there of the extra damage. <gasps> he literally oh, just said, yeah. prep check and JH this man in neutral. That was violent, Frosty. I love that. Yeah, soft knockdown. Oh, trying to spark saving the elemental here in Neuros. And now he's trying to get in. Oh, gets in with the jump medium after the SD. Now some optimal Frieza stuff, or I should say Neos. He has the color scheme even, Frieza. Kind oh. of buzz, you know? I, I get that. <laughs> the Black Boobs have been playing far too much Master Duel recently, Nick. Uh, I have. But you know, his name is Jaden LP, so Jaden Life Points, you know. Uh, so, gets the overhead, was blocked though by Frosty, good tech on that DR as well, trying to check some key blast. that was very dangerous, the 2H was caught, and right now he is going to bleed as he's going to die. He's gone. Was that? That was me. His life points <laughs> depleted. Life points depleted, guys. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's very close right now because Frosty was uh, suffering quite a lot against Jaden in the first match, and now Frosty takes a game back. So we might be here for a very close set. Game number three about to start. Who's going to win? Chat, tell me. You can see, I think, that it's going to be a bit more even in the betting this time. It's clear that these two are going to fight hard. I thought Jaden, you know, unknown killer, there's going to have to be a bit of adaptability from Frosty, and he's, he's immediately showing that. Now the question is, even though Jaden is on the back foot here, what can he do? Take momentum and then fight back. Because Frosty, with that wrecker, is going to crack the dome piece wide open with that overhead. Now, just keep the pressure going, though. Oh, really nice dash out of the corner there. Yeah, still, though, Jaden in the block string right now. Frosty trying to block it. Oh, went for a cheeky float cross up, but it was not blocked, but there was also no conversion. I feel like he had to have used a key blast and the vanish to get something from that. However, did not have that available. Level three with Neos is gonna happen now. We'll just go oh. for a low, but now you cannot low profile that dragon punch. And you're gonna suffer. 
I mean, a DP like that from Gogeta, <laughs> as we said, it's a two-touch of this team anytime. Look at the balls he's preemptively mm -hmm. built. Here comes the 21. Oh, actually, no, not going to go for it. I thought it would be going for grab in level three, but never mind. But with Freezer is going to go for the brave option of reflecting a 2M. That's damage, and that's an opportunity to get that blue life back. Now here comes the Oki, Nick, and the question is, are you blocking this? Uh, I am. I'm going to block it. Left. See? I mean, you're not wrong. Didn't channel dunk there. <laughs> All right, gets the hit. Frosty in a good situation, but drops the combo yet again. We've seen a lot of drops. Maybe the connection is not that good. I mean, Germany and Spain against each other is not known for a good connection, so that probably tells us why they're dropping the combos. Still, though, they are trying to give the, themselves the best and also chat the best they can offer right now. That is Frosty taking down a character. I would say that it was pretty even overall for both of them though. Like, I mean, even though Jaden's down a character now, he did have to force Frosty to use Spark already. So without oh that, resource, that resource available in the late game, if Frosty can just keep patient and keep this pressure going that he's getting right now, he could absolutely even it up and not have to be in such a bad position. So for now, has to pile of pressure on there, goes tap tap overhead and then straight at the Dragon Rush. Frosty blink and you'll miss it there. And he doesn't get the tech as a result. Has four bars. Uh, yeah, I don't think that would have been enough. So Kefla Oki instead. Not the best, as we've said, but with no mm -hmm. resources available and no DPs, Nick. This has to be brave on the defense. <laughs> oh yeah i did not expect that either so he basically was saying okay frosty i'm just gonna stay here because right, i know the range of my moves the oh that was cursed do you know the range of my moves nope frosty tried to jump out reset to neutral potentially escape but it was kefla saying haha you imagine jumping bro all right, level three maybe again. Nope, just goes for a run up. And again, you know, trying to see if Frosty's gonna uh, press some buttons that he should not. And then getting the hit off of that. But for now, Jaden trying to block. Oh, a little bit of a trade there. I like it. That. Oh my god. No, 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 no. That was sick, Nick. <laughs> the homing discs of doom. <laughs> Press one if you got what, what, what version of Elemental Neos is that? <laughs> Which fusion is this? I do not know. But right now, is he chucking some space orbs at them? No, he's, a, he's from the new Spatians anyway, so it makes sense being an alien hero. No, no, no wonder he's a new Spatian. He likes to have space and neutral. He's a zoner, remember? <laughs> that, that is true. All right, good reflex, nice but that there. was, yep, that was not very well timed after that. I think he wanted like a dash block, but the discs were already coming back because the key blasts that Frieza checked out were delaying uh, the timing that he could move again, meaning that those discs were there when he did not expect them to. H on the JM after the SD and Jaden taking another game. Yeah. Frosty in the graveyard right now, man. I don't know what to say about this because it feels like the momentum just shifts back and forth between them. Frosty, it does seem like he's doing good at locking Jaden down in the corner and taking mm -hmm. his turn back, for example. I mean, DP and wake up options have worked for him about twice, three yeah. times now. But at the same time, Jaden just doesn't seem to go down no matter what he does. Takes another point there. I, I wouldn't say convincingly, but with very good effort. And now Frosty, mm -hmm. this is the first engagement in neutral again, so he's going to be the one in the corner. Yeah, that means it's his turn now. Time to use a spell. Nope, just goes for a monster summon. And there we go. The spell was used and it opened him up. The life points have been damaged right now. Blue Gogeta bleeding because this is going to be a level one, level, level, level. And that means he's already in the graveyard. There. Yeah, there is no monster reborn for you. Damn, Nick V's just secretly telling us what his entire deck is for you, Gil. You have to top deck that monster reborn by gaining seven Dragon Balls. So you shine one wish, <laughs> bring him back to the graveyard that way, huh? Oh, yeah. Jaden reflecting right there and gets Ooh, two. No, that's a happy birthday. That's so unfortunate. You can see how it happened though, because Jaden, in his panic, went huh? for a reflect and then to try and compensate for that so he didn't get punished, calls Kefla, and instead, look how much damage yeah. he's ate. Kefla has to recover. 
So what happened there, he tried to uh, summon Vegito, but Vegito was still on his way down uh, because you can only get a character back into the game when the character that was first in the game has landed on the ground and then disappeared. That did not happen yet when uh, Frosty tried to go for level 3 to kill. And that means no kills. That means that Kefla is there recovering all of her HP. Level 1, Android 21, also did the graveyard. I have to be honest, I think the absolute best thing to come out of that interaction is the fact that Kefla is going to probably regenerate her entire health bar at that point. Mm -hmm. Because if oh she had my. come in against that team with that much blue life gone, one touch and she was dead and she would have had no usage in this set. But speaking of which, we're seeing plenty of usage of 5L from Frosty there, trying to go for those Vegito buttons, tries to get a punish, but Jaden takes his turn back there. Vanish Guard Cancel is going to give Frosty a bit of breathing room and takes his turn back again. Mm -hmm. oh, Vegito airspace, he has not given giving you his permit for this zone. You need to come back to the ground immediately and eat this level three. Yeah, it's looking very long right now because Kefla, even though she has so much health, she is definitely in a one-touch situation because <laughs> it's Vegito, one M scaler, and you know that can happen. That means death for just that character. Oh, they're already trying to go for it. The two H was blocked. And the Banshee Blast as well. Six H, good blocks, so far Frosty. Oh no, but that Reflect was so, <laughs> so, so not good. Yeah, that, that's that. I, I I don't even have to ask Dunk for this. Free finish it off. Keep it simple, Jaden. I like that. Goes for the special change, thanks to this new season. And boom, one simple input to get it done. Because at the end of the day, right, we say that it looks like Jaden keeps getting on fire. And mm -hmm. he's, he's getting momentum against Frosty. But if you afford yourself the chance to make a simple mistake, like an input error or a drop, you give the opponent a chance to just come back immediately. So even these little things at the end of a set, like finishing your play, are so much more important yeah. than they like, really seem to be. Yeah, I agree. Uh, gets a DR though right now. Frosty cannot show yet what is on his plate. Has to block though first, but no, just does not go for it. I think he wanted to escape somehow with the JH. Got caught instead as the jump heavy again catches Frosty trying to mash out of the corner. Right now though, it means another character dead. You, you just don't get to play. I have not seen this blue Gogeta do anything in the past couple of matches. Jaden has hit that exact wave punish, you know. Yeah. Uh, Frosty mashes the auto combo of his character in the corner. Last time it was Gogeta. Now it's Gogeta and he crosses up and gets the JH and it's killed both times. So I'm not sure if that's a habit of Frosty's or more of just a general game plan weakness that he's got because Jaden is making the most of it although Frosty this time is going to throw Freezer in the corner gets a 2H this time on that GH not allowed to get the kill with it this time can get the special change as well should have the third bar say. for some level 3 no you went too far all you had to do was just spend 2 bars to kill you don't always have to be optimal especially not unwanted if you want to go to main card just kill that is the most optimal you think you can do and now you are trying to fight again gets the hit kefla again bleeding back to mid screen we go and there's a level three okay coming up right now cert i know you can block this but what's up right where okay I'm in loser. i'm in loser's bracket i'll nah, see you, you next sparked time, you chat. sparked anyway you sparked anyway it's true uh, but no um I think it's really important to focus on instances like this because now that Frosty has that, oh my, like a run up 5M, this is the sort of thing Frosty is known for, that aggressive mm -hmm. game plan. So yeah, while he may have been punished before for it in the corner against a Jaden with a freezer, now it gets him a simple kill like this and he's still pretty meta positive for that start of that combo. So he's even the score up without really losing much either. Yeah, and the spark's still active, trying to go for that little vanish. Nice block on that fast fall low. Still, though, did not block it all, but the combo drop yet again into the vanish. <laughs> Neo is back to the graveyard. You go, man. It's a shame, but now 21 versus 21. Ooh. It's very fun to see this matchup because of the distance that they can play with but frosty is gonna once again go for that aggression does get the clean hit does only have one bar to work with and the steel selection is full goes for the key blast in mm. neutral but just like vegeta's assist he doesn't reach full screen anymore so Jaden comes in with that punish and now level three open <laughs> time nick throwing it back to you this time way of blocking <laughs> he has you bell i think he's just gonna stay same side yet again 
Fair <laughs> enough. Good block. Next will be crossover. From Jake. I, I would probably say so as well. He's done it enough times on the same side. He has to change it up a bit here. A bit of a variety in your mix. But now it's a 1v1. 21 versus Vegito. Two very strong characters in this meta. But in an unconventional position. <laughs> you know, anchor with these two. Not where you'd see them. But now it's a battle of patience. A battle of aggression more like. Because Frosty once again dives in with that rocket punch of the 5M. Goes into the key blast and an easy confirm like that. Once again, the food was not... You're carried, you're carried, okay, I, I have to be honest. When he did that the first time, I thought Damascus had, like, just put the life point noise onto his soundboard <laughs> just for this set. Because, like, that, that that's was... the sort of thing I think he would do for that. That's bars, Nick. You're very good. Thank you. I, I, I do like to... Uh... To also add in one of my own things uh, to want it every now and again. <laughs> but into the sixth match we go. Six matches already, man. They go fast. And these two are brawling, that is for sure. But at the same time, this is what I meant about Jaden's playstyle before. You can slow it down and bring it back when you need the OR second hit at the other combo. This is about to be yep. major damage. I think it was actually the 5M with punishing their 5 0. But yeah, it, it basically still is the same thing. Half is health gone, forced to spark. Not that much blue life going away. Ooh, okay, the 2H was hit, but did not go for it. And the EXDP, let's go. Ooh, does not really want to convert it. Otherwise, just use this Vanish. And right now, going for the tag in from 21. Spark gone, but Oki is here. What do you mean, Oki? Just up tech and uh, key last? A and a hot there, falling JS into 21 assist and then gets the cross up. Jaden, that was some unconventional sauce there. And now he gets kept the level 3 Oki in the corner. Again, not the strongest, does have options. And Frosty has mm -hmm. had to work a bit hard against the way Jaden carries it. Good block so far. He sets into the overhead. Again, the 6H. Oh, the dome piece is not the this game. Once again, always wear your helmet, kids. Because <laughs> if you don't, you might get mixed. <laughs> or you might drop combos. Right now, though, Jaden getting hit. And you're going to have to be dead. I I'll, I'll not be dunked this time. He's just going to go for the level one. See, listens. Let's go, Frost. Yeah, I mean have to be honest, after Frosty missed that level 3 kill with the happy birthday before, I am kind of letting out a little sigh of relief whenever he just <laughs> finishes his plate, because that, that was painful. Missing a happy birthday level 3, you can't be doing that. Yeah, even though, you know, he had that, he, he pretty much did it himself. He could have gone for a level uh, 3 earlier, you know, just to get that damage on the assist, potentially killing only the assist. But, as we talk about that, Jaden is going to get hit. No re-jumps today, though. Frosty dropping that one as well. Good air to air. Going for a little left right situation that Jaden, he was kind of floating around, not moving far from the neutral position in the air. And Frosty made use of that, going from left to right, getting that double jump. JL turn around and almost getting that character. I feel like Jaden would be looking to uh, tag in 21, but he actually used the assist instead. Uh, I feel like that too. I'm actually kind of confused why Frosty went for the super there because he had burned his assists <laughs> and he had burned any like feasible way of getting reliable Oki to try and kill the freezer. So that was kind of a free tag out in the end for Jaden. Not sure about that one because there definitely was far too much health, but it doesn't matter because now here comes level three Oki. I'm blocking. You know, I was going to say left, but Nick, I remembered you said cross off. You're no, said psychic cross -off. all of a sudden. Uh, 21 is easy to block, bro. But Frosty's not going to try and block there. He's going to get hit. Still no kill though. Ooh, try to 2H. No 2H as a response from Jaden. Afraid of that assist might be rightfully so. But he's going to eat that damage right now. Escaping the corner. Ooh, that was barely, barely a confirm. But it was a confirm. That means there's a another person going to the graveyard. And right now, it's all even again. What was that Mickey Mouse laughing at me? <laughs> oh, now oh. I can't. Now I can't unhear that. Don't do that to me, will you? Because I'll just oh, laugh every time I hear this. <laughs> <laughs> oh right. no! Ooh. Jaden, in the meantime of us discovering the magical copyright land of Disney, has just put Vegito into the graveyard because once again another simple confirm. And whilst Frosty has six bars to work with. 
Jaden, when he's got Freezer and 21 of all characters, he can afford to mm -hmm. stay back and force Frosty in a mistake right now. But the mistake was actually his. Jaden did not block the tail coming to his head. And that means it's a mirror matchup, one versus one right now. Frosty, definitely in a one touch situation, but Jaden. You still have to be able to block this 21. And there is the command grab. He was probably waiting for it, but did not expect it right there. All right, another grab mid-screen, level three. Frosty, it's this time. It's your level three. What are you going to do? And the question is, will he block the mix most of all? Jaden, block center, all block on center. Yeah, I blocked it because it's center. That hit anywhere. And I don't know where it hit, but I said center, so I blocked it. <laughs> I mean, technically the truth, technically the truth, but Jaden, <laughs> Unfortunate there. Vehicle hit. I see you. I see you. I think it was. Uh... Oh, it was actually close up. Kabir did not get hit. All I of mean, us got hit except Kabir. Kabir clearly did exclamation mark pro tip in the chat to know that that was the right option, which you should all do, by the way, if you want a free coaching session uh, from Damascus himself. Some crucial tips for your gameplay in Dragon Ball Fighters from those uh, <laughs> pop commands right there. Speaking of some crucial gameplay right now, Frosty's getting the first hit of the set once again. Will drive Jaden at the corner of the soft knockdown. And now extends using Vegeta. We've got some good pressure going on. And now here comes a mix. Nick, oh, he gets himself out of there. <laughs> I mean, mix was still there. He got hit by a 2M of all buttons right now in Spark. All that time wasted. There is still damage on that life bar. And now it's gone. Yeah, once that hard knockdown. Level three. Blue combos, they still do as much damage as normal combos, so we take those. Cross up. I got hit. Um, got okay, hit. So, so I can block Jaden, but I cannot block Frosty. That's that's the takeaway. I mean, you're not wrong. You seem to have Jaden on lockdown here with what he's going to do with 21. <laughs> oh, he got the hit, but did not convert off of it. Oh, oh Spark, please. Oh, wait, oh, no. He, he has Spark as well. Come on, Frosty. Get it this time. Yes. Can he? This is the Redemption he? Saga. Frosty is melting oh, our expectations that. of him. Oh. And he's got Jaden in the break as well. No life, no spark. Basically, Frosty really just needs to go for a bull move, like taking his turn back like that. Just like that, actually. Gogeta assists, almost gets the scoop for him. But last minute, he gets mixed like those Turkish ice cream stands. He doesn't get that scoop instead. And now, Jaden, he's given a chance here, Nick. This is really important. 21 level for Yoki. If you're going to get a hit to start a comeback, what better, really? Do you just do same side again. Oh, my Frosty got hit by the cross-up. Finally. I felt like Jaden, you know, Frosty had been getting hit same side over and over and over and over. Just do that until he does not block it. But Jaden is here and wanted because of a reason I'm not because he knows what Frosty's thinking. So you gotta be able to read those. Frosty though, jumping back, this is exactly what I mean. When you're at such an advantage like this, it does mean a lot to be able to be patient. But in the end, the aggression and Frosty isn't gonna afford you any graceful charity because that man was sent straight out there. Yeah, straight out there. That means Frosty takes the lead finally for the first time in the set, three to four. It might be long. It might be long. Maybe Frosty is finally getting inside Jaden's head. Red King Esports, I know you're proud of your boy. Where are you guys? Are you guys in chat? I want to see you. Spanish flags. Or the German flags if you're uh, here for Jaden. With the Yu-Gi-Oh tech. Ooh, the trap card was activated from Frosty, but it was not that effective. Finally, Jaden gets that hit with a quick play spell. It's important, though, that he does get that hit because he can keep Frosty locked down in the corner. Actually, does force a very early spark again. I'm kind of surprised he went for that there. I mean, Kepler's pressure. The assists hadn't even regenerated. It's not the most threatening scenario, but you know what? Jaden's going to love that because he does get the hit regardless and gets hard knocked down for his troubles. Gogeta is stuck in the corner right now, tapping away. Double reflect into raw tag, and Jaden just not ready. I thought I was seeing UI Goku for a second. That raw tag was uh, <laughs> some weird wake up stuff. All right, gets a. I wouldn't say knockdown, but that was not really happened. He knocked Kefla down to the ground, and as we go up into the sky again, he with that combo. Oh, <laughs> it looked like that was the same. <laughs> 
that, that's, what, that's what you call a trap guard right there. I'm, I'm just gonna, uh, you know... <laughs> that was not a trap guard. Right now, <laughs> picks him up and scoops. That was that violence. Was, that was a whole ass never push summon. Yeah, I was gonna say, trap evil would be... One. Just press it. Whew. Let's go. Okay, destructed this, trying to set up a field of monsters, but it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna open Frosty up. He just keeps blocking that. There's no way to his life points, and there he goes. Direct attack, but the whiff was there. Tried to go for 5 H on that uh, guard cancel, but that was not gonna happen. It whiffed. Oh, the tail's big. The tail is big. The tail is blocked. Yeah, I mean. You don't really have much room for error there because Ooh, of right how on. big that button is. You can just go for it and still get the hit. But in the end, now they're fighting back in neutral. We got block strings again, 21 versus 21. But Jaden has enough of that. Gets Frieza in instead. Goes for that quick tag out. And now the Frieza pressure. JH to stop the raw tag there. Vegeta reflecting. Frosty is definitely using reflect a lot, but that actually mm. kind of worked out for him. Because when you press another button, the punish with the uh, 2368 was right there. And. I have to say, Jaden's neutral game, distance game, astonishingly good. I really like this stuff from him. Yeah, but you said that as he got hit, that was uh, kind of unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say that. all of that just for the uh, hate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like the monologue though, I like the, the effort you put in. <laughs> Alright, Frieza getting another hit. Finally, zero bar on deck though, so that means next kill might not even... Uh, I mean, next hit might not even be a kill, but... You can't hit someone if you're getting hit instead. Who does Frosty want in here? Vegito, you know, I respect that. Vegito backed by those two assists in the background is very good. And when Jaden's on one character against this team, can't afford to be getting hit in neutral at all. That was almost a confirm as well, considering that Vegito could have went to 5M. But it doesn't matter, because now here comes the block strings again. Jaden blocking for his life while playing a bit of mini Tetris there. But then drops his own combo. Goes for the... S and Ooh. instead gets a punish. That was mm, kind of iffy, I have to say. Yeah, that was maximum range in the 5M from just now, though, into the DR. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I like it. Oh, Spirit Bomb set up. That's going to whip. But the level 3, she's going to fall into that one. Vanish, Vanish up overhead. All right, good blocking so far. Good respect. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand how he got hit there. I understand. I got hit as well. Jaden, do not feel bad ab about that one. Because that Fujito, when he kicked you almost center, it looked like he would fall to the other side. I totally understand how I was you got gonna hit say, it, it's, it's visual mix sometimes. It's, it's not yeah. actual mix, but it's, it's kind of trusting your own sight there. Because I've been hit by that before. Nick, you just confessed you've been hit by that. But the question is, how will Jaden bound back from losing that point? Because now Frosty extends the lead a little bit. You know, we, we were going back and forth before. Now it seems mm -hmm. like Frosty's kind of got a bit of a groove going. How does Jaden disrupt that and put his foot down and say, no, I want to take it my way? Yeah, he's gonna have to work hard, and there it is. Android 18 calling in the barrier, the lifesaver. Will it happen? Oh, I did not know for a second which 21 that was. I was like, wait, what? Luka G that can't walk through orbs? But no, that was not the case. Going for a corner loop with a 214M from 18. Going for the DR on the ground, yep. Oh, just standing up from the soft knock now. Okay, I, I kind of respect it. I was expecting a level 3 into then forcing the spark and then baiting it. But that was not what Jaden was thinking. He wanted to save the bar necessary to be killing through a spark. But now has to spark for himself. Goes for the tag there. Surprising from Frosty. I think Godzilla being in was really good because oh. the, di the distance game against someone like 18 is really important. Kind of don't give him any breathing and get 17 cold, for example. But the in the end, it doesn't matter because Jaden fights back, takes his own turn. Cooper mm -hmm. dashes in, good block from Frosty, but no punish, and then walks up. Hey, you got any games on your phone? I want to check. Pulls him in for the grab. And now I think it's level 3 time, Nick. Where are you blocking? I'm not blocking. Same that, side. Yeah, that's fair. Same side. Oh, but the DR. You cannot block that one. You have to tech it. And Andrea 18 
out of here. I was kind of questioning the 18 uh, choice anyway, because you don't want to play 18 against Vegito. You kind of, I feel like, want to play her for her assist. If you're gonna uh, tag her in for, to, like, to play against Vegito and 21, because they both outrange her on any case. And 18's strength is her key blast game full screen, but with 21 in the game, you just cannot do that. And Vegito also bypasses all the ground movement. So it's a questionable decision, I would say, uh, especially putting her point right now. Jaden, again, bleeding, potentially losing this character, dive, and just use a few level ones. Why not? Play again, especially from before Frosty. We want to make sure that you've got those combos on deck. And now it's just Freezer and a comeback scenario. Jaden does have the option of going gold. I don't think he's went gold yet this whole set. He man. hasn't. He, he indeed hasn't. Good block on that one. Guard cancel. I was kind of expecting a gold, uh, golden form Frieza in the first game, but he did not go for that. And I think it's just outside of his game plan. Finally gets that cross up with a little bit of Team Gohan vibes, but no conversion off of that. Good double jump, by the way, to get out of range with the grab. Ooh, Frosty tried to challenge that a little bit. Got a counter hit. Yep, dipping back into the destructor disc and get your level three out. I can push this time. Frosty is definitely being a bit liberal on wake up there. Goes for a button at first, just saw the counter hit, and I think that was mm -hmm. a reflect that gets punished. So, good start from Jaden. Has got a bit of bar to work with still, but having to spend it very quickly because of Freezer's oh. zoning two rolls. And then immediately Frosty fires back. Vanish the guard cancel? I think that was the right option. Ooh, that Super Dash was cursed. That tracked him left and right, and Frosty was not ready to block the correct way. I was not either. Guess a hard knockdown. What is that going to happen? Yeah, Frosty pressing buttons. I think Jaden was ready for it, but he was not ready for the slide out, just barely escaping his range. And now he's getting hit five bars on deck. Yep, tagging Vegito, and that is an easy kill. The worst part is, that was going to be the third time that he'd done that corner with punish, because he, he mm -hmm. went to the exact setup again. But the problem is, Gogeta slid out too far because of the 2L, and as a result, he couldn't get the punish. Freezer's tail's just too short. That's that, that's privilege right there from Gogeta. It's a shame. It is. I mean, like, the first couple of times, Frosty was actually pressing 5L uh, to challenge the corner Oki. This time he went for the 2L, and... You know, Jaden, he jumped over that 2L, thinking, okay, now I can press a 2L or 5L to punish that, as he's getting happy birthday, by the way. That is going to be very dangerous. True, falling out. Uh, but yeah, the 2L, basically outspacing Frieza, and that man just, like, he got the hit instead. All right, 18 bleeding yet again. Go for that DR. Oh, not even. Wants to optimize the damage. Third bar, barely Bill, and that is another kill. 18 has not put a lot of work in at all, if any, to be honest, uh, since she's been tagged in for this set. And mm -hmm. quite frankly, if Jaden can't make this comeback here and now, oh, that, that disrespect, disrespect. No, <laughs> 18 genuinely might not get to do any work here, me. Frosty is looking on fire right now. Yeah, he's definitely looking uh, to take the game. I mean, he's already on, set, uh, on six wins that means he only needs one more went for 2h against the, the key blast expecting 21 to go in for another jm that was not the case and now the whiff punish is here level three from frieza no bars on deck that means the next hit will not kill still but <laughs> just try the 2h super dash with super dash wins be like that okay this is death i mean as long as you don't jinx it nick and it looks like you won't thank goodness Let's Speaking of C4 and he raids, man, speaking of Devil and he really will appear. Wait, I'm I'm getting mixed with the chat, I think. Everyone's getting hit. Level 3 time from Frosty. Yeah, the crucial point is will he be able to block that <gasps> instant transmission? Ooh, you know what? Not exactly the most conventional way to go for mix to level 20, uh, 21, excuse me. But that's actually a really nice way of doing it. Jaden, again, of another whip punish. He's been on fire with those today, I have to say. And now it's Jaden's turn. How does he get into the corner and how does he apply the pressure? Because he needs to keep him locked down as much as possible. Frosty is not afraid of taking his turn back. So if you allow him an inch, he'll take a mile. 
And that's oh. what he's doing right there. Goes for that 5L challenge. Doesn't confirm. Thankfully, Jayden is going to have that on deck and takes 21 here. Yeah, Jayden working on a little comeback right now. He was one character down. And now it's Frosty being one character down. Still, it is Vegito. So any M bun will hit. And any M bun will kill. This, though, I doubt it. But yeah. Okay, level three. I don't think he should go for the Vanish Oki, but knowing Frosty, he probably will into the sword. But we will see if that's going to take something out of him. Because, you know, without that bar, that means your defensive options are very limited as well. Frosty whiffing that 2H and getting punished over it. You block on that low and the overhead, but you cannot block. I repeat, you cannot block a DR. I block a DR, you can only take it. But no, Nick... Fusions are like onions. They have layers to their mix. I, th I think going for the vanish there gives them an opportunity to mix Jaden up visually. Because it's either cross up, same side spirit sword, or dragon rush. Like it's kind of it's kind of deadly, I have to be honest. But it in is. the end, I'm kinda happy regardless, because Jaden took it there, got to the four six. He's still got a lot of work to do, you know, has got to battle through three more match points. Mm -hmm. but as of right now, he's got the foundation of what he needs. Yeah, shout to Sins in the chat right now, helping me out with my mic quality. All right, ooh, getting the hit with the jump medium, but the jump medium from 18 is much better than yours, hitting both sides. Extended, yep. Do not take too long. You might want to do too many hits now. Okay, went for the correct path into the 2 one 4 h Bad, again, but yeah, again, the, the yeah, you can usage. Like, this it's, is it's kind smart. of the same. Oh, sorry, go it's, ahead. It's smart because you can buffer it through the, uh, the, the, the the 17 blast. You can just straight up buffer it because you're in block for so long. That means any button she tries to press, she's getting hit by it. So that means, you know, 18 against any DP character really has to bait something out, otherwise, it's a risk. Very true. Oh, it's stopping the super dash. At least one barrier doesn't suck, right, Nick? It might. <laughs> Favorite sword oh. snipe there from Frosty, though. He's playing the long game. The one meter stick ruler catches him from afar, brings him up, and forces Jaden into a very early spark. Again! Ooh. Oh my goodness, Frosty. You know what? I can't blame him, because there hasn't been much adaptability and punish from Jaden thus far. He got absolutely mm -hmm. smoked by uh, DP assist in the button before, but this time he gets the kill and he does press the advantage. Both of them are now without spark, but with the character advantage, Jaden's looking good here. Oh, as Frosty gets the 5 MU, tries to go for that little regime in the corner, but it's not that easy to hit, especially with the con this connection probably. Okay, goes for the JM, got a poke, no 2H on that one. I feel like they're like playing a little bit of Ginyu right there. Just, uh, you know, spinning around above each other. 5H like that as well, yeah, yeah crossover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, hits under K and Frosty responds with his own dive? I'm not sure what the thought process was behind that one, but he didn't get punished for it. Either way, that was very risky. It doesn't matter in the end, though, because in the end, Frosty's defense is opened up. Gets a bit of pressure going. Should be able to get some steals as well if he wants to know. Instead, going to opt to get 21 out of there. And that does mean Frieza will be the one to come in here to try and finish Regito off. I, I think Frieza would love this to happen one day, fighting against Regito, because... He wants to kill like those that. Saiyans. I don't think he would like that. I think when he saw uh, Gogeta punch up that Broly, he was all enraged and stuff. <laughs> I don't think he yeah, wants to I'll fight pass. Any <laughs> Never mind, guys. I'll be back soon <laughs> when you guys are done with the fusion. <laughs> Oh, went for a little bit of a They're modernizing the pizza delivery industry. The delivery driver isn't bringing you the pizzas. The pizzas are bringing themselves to you. But now Frosty fights back, has the bar as well to work with. Only goes for a level one, but you know what? I think this is fair enough. It's a ground knockdown. Has to chase though, and that gives him a chance to get out of the corner, which is exactly what he does. Vanish there, but he just stands there. He didn't move once, Nick, and he got punished for it immediately. Yeah, and I think that's because one of the things you touched up uh, on earlier in this set where Jaden really likes to whiff punish or at least attempt to whiff punish Frosty. And 
Frosty does not respect that. If you're gonna wait for me, I'll just come to you. I'm gonna kick your head in. Five Do it, do it. He has no. to at some point. It's oh it's charge? Brave. Oh. No, you can't do that. Oh <laughs> no! Wrong move, Jaden. You could have just waited or reflected. I plus him there. You get a free vanish on that. And the whiff oh. on the spirit sword for once angled a little bit too sharp and misses. Yeah. And that means Jaden has five wins now. Frosty has six. We have seen this last week as well with Kakuet up against Frosty, where Frosty was on set point. He had four wins. He only had to get five. And uh, Kakuet had one win by then. And then he went all the way to four wins. So Kakuet was actually bringing it back. And Frosty won by only a slither of health. So that means, you know, if Jaden is going to repeat that, maybe Frosty won't be so lucky this time. And I do like what Jaden is uh, showing in the set because this is the first time he's appeared on Wanted. That means, you know, he is definitely new to the pressure that's put onto your shoulders, uh, being like new on the stream with a big platform with a lot of viewers, all you guys chat, shouts to you. Uh, it means everyone is going to see him. And he thinks about all of that right now. And he thinks this team that he has right now is the winning team. Yeah, you have to be honest though, today has been the theme of the Hidden Killer so far. First of all, we had Proto Dwayne with his absolutely amazing performance. And now we've got Jaden here taking the fight to a frequent wanted fighter in Frosty. So, this is... I'm loving this, this format change supports new players like Jaden getting on the scene. And they're making an impact. But speaking of impacts, Gogeta, heavy kick to the face there, gets blocked, reflected this time, trying to go for the punish. But this time, Vegeta dashes in with the Vegito assist in the background to cover him. And this is where it gets dicey. Because Gogeta in the corner. Oh, the disrespect. Nick, we can agree on this. Frosty does not care. Of course, imagine caring about Barrier. I mean, no one, no one does apparently, except for Lalbot. He always reminds me Barrier sucks. As he should. I trained him all. <laughs> Ooh, that is a happy boo-boo. Got the out. Oh, no, never mind. Top. I'm not. Uh, that was a gap fight. I'm That was sick. All you had to do was jump to H, jump backwards, and hit them again. Still did not do it. Frosty trying to level up a bit, trying to make his stuff stronger. Will he go for level 7, though? It might be, but the other combo is here. The other combo is top tier and gets a hard knockdown. And now you have to block. Ooh, I thought it was going to be maybe a left right situation, but the grab instead catches the 21. Sleeping a little bit, maybe. And now goes to the other one. Yeah, yeah. Because here we go again. Jaden in a 1v3 comeback scenario where Frosty has lost little to no health whatsoever and with Frieza. Doable, absolutely doable, but the difficulty involved. A lot. Yeah, I, I, I'm not too sure about that because there is a Gogeta 4 right now and you know the destructive disc that has been like the bane of Frosty's existence? Well, Gogeta just bypasses them and hits Frieza straight up in the stomach. So far though, Frieza has been getting hits in DR on that 21. Not gonna build the third bar yet because of the meter penalty after using that level 3. Meaning he could have killed maybe using advantage into somehow extending it more, uh, but Jaden was not available for that one. Gets hit by his own destructive disc, making sure that his life gets a little bit depleted once more. And oh my god, that 2 age from downtown is probably gonna take it. DR extended more meter. The SJ4 is back. Yep, that's with the DR into the orb. Level 1, level 1. Level 3. That was the wrong Actually, never mind. That was, well, actually, that was the wrong decision. Because they wouldn't be able to DHC, but I take it back. <laughs> it looks like this is the final time the life points are being depleted. This is yep. where you're going to start shaking hands, Nick, because it looks like this is on 